Hey everyone, welcome to today's Trade Hacker Update. Today is Thursday, the 1st of October. So the start of the fourth quarter, which means one thing, earnings season is coming. So as the quarter comes to an end, all the companies will start announcing their third quarter earnings announcements here in the next couple of weeks. So look forward to talking more about these upcoming earnings. Uh, about today, uh, the S&P, a little bit of a wild ride. It was up uh, bigger. It gave up about half of its gains. It's pulling back as we come into the close. We've got about 35 minutes left before the market closes. I've been talking about looking at a potential kind of a third push down. We had this initial push, kind of a sideways consolidation bounce, a second push. Now we're getting a bounce again. And I, I still think we're going to look at a third push that's going to come break below these lows here. Now, if the market does continue to push higher and kind of gets above this little consolidation box at this level, kind of at that 34, 15-ish level, if it pushes uh, above that and, and kind of confirms and closes above that, then uh, at that point, I think I think the third push is off. Uh, I think we've seen what we've got from this downturn, but I, I still think we may get another push lower, but we will see what happens and follow price action as it leads. So what did we do today? We really just, we rolled our net gas position. We closed out an iron duck for profit. We didn't add any new trades. Day trading had a small green day, a little over $330 of profit. So just kind of staying mechanical and doing what we do, waiting to see what this market's gonna do from here. As far as different stocks, Tesla was up big, about 5%. Roku was up about 5%. Nikola, and I, I can't figure out what's going to go on with this stock. I mean, we had a few weeks ago with this big jump here where GM came out and General Motors came out and bought an 11% interest in the company. So it looked like it was all green and grassy and kind of, here we go, let's ride this thing back up. And then that just fell apart. There's all kinds of fraud allegations. The CEO resigned, but Nikola up over 16% today, actually was up about 30%, gave up about half those gains. So I'm not really trading Nikola at this point. We'll do a little trade here and there in the day trading room, but just not sure what to think if this stock is going to be gone soon or if it's going to rocket back up to the top. We'll see, but just kind of staying away on any swing type trades. But kind of a mixed bag today. A lot of green, a lot of red on the screen. Uh, market trying to figure out where it wants to go. So hope everybody has a great rest of the week and weekend. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know.